Hi, and welcome back to another episode of End of Night's Watch. I am your host, Shazal Roll, and we have, again, Patrick and Steven. Sorry, I'm in there doing something. And Steven, of course, is ah, back with... The only one who cares enough to dress up for you guys. Hey. I, I respect you as an audience, so I dress up. How, how are the brothers doing? <sighs> the walls. It's very... There's the walls. You're right, you're right. Yeah, you survived. Walls. That's okay. Survived. Yeah. Steven's still hot, right? Yes. Because you always hate us. You always hate us. Just because you're the only one dressed up. That's right. Anyway, let's take a quick look at the highlights of the last episode. <laughs> Patrick, what's your action figure? My action figure. Well, yeah, Patrick, what's your action figure? You know, in honor of who I thought was the most impactful character of the last episode, I have the the goblet filled with wine. Donna, Cersei. Cersei wasn't in the last episode. Exactly. But. (laughs) What are you talking about? Let him him be. Mm -hmm. But she was the topic of conversation throughout. Okay? She was so impactful. That's not. Her presence. I don't think that's how this works. Even though she didn't have a single scene. Patrick, it it doesn't work like that. I raised my cup. Okay. This is. For episode three, you can pick Peter Baelish. Steven, what did you think? Like, Cersei is. (laughs) <laughs> she, she's one of the, 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 to me, she she's gonna come out oh my gosh. as being one of the shining characters of shining in a pool of blood of this fi- final season. Like but Patrick, it was for you were supposed to bring an action figure of characters that were, were in, in the, episode. the episode, the last she, episode. She was, in the episode. she was mentioned. Jesus. Physically in the no, no, no. There was no rules to say. Oh, okay. Physically Let him have it, Steven. Episode five. Okay. Okay, we get it, Steven. Okay. So, what did you bring? So my own. Once again, I like Patrick. I have authentic merchandise. Right. Oh, we've well, always me got the directly authentic from <coughs> HBO. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So mine is. <laughs> there you go. Right. Giant smoke. And and we're ex- we're expected to believe that HBO said that. Yes. <laughs> to you. Giant smoke. 100% fresh. That we can get out the food store for it's less than a dollar. milk. It is evaporated. a cow on the picture. Well, I don't I don't think Giants appreciate you calling them cows. But the okay. whole point is... This I don't is even to, know that's from a cow. This is to represent uh, Giants Bean. Giants smoke. That's how he got to be so big. Mm-hmm. And then he does the whole goblet thing. Well, like, well that is the story. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's I'm not going to do it. That's, just, <laughs> that's disgusting. What is a weird commodity here? And it doubles as a paperweight or a weapon. So. Steven, we want to thank you for bringing your less than dollar action figure that you did not receive from HBO. But we have to take a quick break, guys. So be right back after this break. Girl? And that will be hosting its annual ball. And we are going to rob it. Maybe you just need someone watching your back. Like a partner. Continue, please. Do, do they have napkins in the restaurant? <laughs> yes. They're 
Steven, very Steven, are you hot? Could you go hot? on? What's are the segment? You, are you hot, Steven? <laughs> are you hot? Oh, my God. As he drinks water. Once again, I just had jealousy from your side of the table. Could you, what's, what's, what's the next segment? So, Steven, I heard you're a wordsmith. Mm -hmm. So I have some quotes. Okay. I'm going to read them, and I just want to get your take on them. Is that okay? Yeah, yes. I mean, I don't understand why you're so aggressive. Yeah. Okay. So, what I do for love. Fran. What do you think about that? <laughs> Why are you being so dramatic? What is all this? I just read it. Where's okay. the dramatic? Whoa, ho. So, when Brian said that, it was, it's, I don't know, I, feel, I find it weird because Brian is trying to sell us on this whole world. I'm the V.I. Raven. I don't have emotions. I am I am not Brian. Brian is dead. But then you still, like, that's how, like, when your girlfriend is be like, oh, no, it don't bother me. I just find it funny how, like, if you don't bother you, why are you bringing it up? Huh. If you if you used to tree eye raven and brown dad, so where all this come from all of a sudden where it's like you why are you trying to shade Jamie like, yeah, buddy, I got info on you. Mm -hmm. Like like so it was weird to me that he said it. And it's like it makes me question the the neutrality of this so called three eye raven. I mean I don't doubt that he has powers. Yeah. I just doubt but the the level of neutrality that he says that he he's has. probably showing his sensitive yeah. part. I think it only it only appears like that because <laughs> that particular quote or that particular statement it directly relates to him because he did the same thing as Littlefinger when he was like chaos is a lot you know what I mean and that had really nothing to do with him right. but it was still like throwing shade so I think at this point he just threw shade at everybody who he could throw shade right at. because he's like to let you know. I'm aware of things that I shouldn't be aware of. I know that. He's got many faces. I look forward to seeing this one. This was said by Arya. How do you feel about that, Patrick? Arya's your favorite character. The one he wanted to die. Yes. I'm, I'm so over Arya. Her, her being all tough. Oh, I've seen death. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. I see like, myself as Arya, you know. Don't, don't ever I say feel that. personally attacked. <laughs> Like, yeah, I mean, I guess it's a cool line. Um, and it, it serves the character. You know, a lot of people like her. She is a fan mm. favorite. Um, I just don't. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of like a cool, cool guy line in a sense. You know, it, it got everybody hyped because people are now excited to see what is going to happen with Arya. Is she going to be a major player when it comes to the war? You know, this whole weapon that Gendry's making for her. People are excited to see what's going to go down. And pretty much who she's going to kill this season. So. How much you want to bet she loses the weapon the first five minutes of the fight? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, listen, don't get me wrong. I love Arya. I have mm -hmm. a, a, a Arya doll at home, right? The whole point is, <laughs> as much as I like Arya. Mm -hmm. and, and your doll. Right. It's just like, I don't, I'm not buying it. Where it's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to put together this weapon. It's going to be so, I like, five minutes in. Five she, minutes in, she loses the weapon. I think it's just her um, basically trying to say, yeah, you guys may look at me this way, but I'm strong, and whatever comes my way, I'm ready. It's just like, like a little front, I guess. What about the North, said by Sansa? What do you think, Patrick? I don't pay attention to things that Sansa said. Wow. I don't, even, I don't even know what that means. What I don't even wrong? know when that was said in the episode. Like, she said that? She said it to Daenerys. What about the North? What about the North? Who cares? <laughs> like, well, that wraps it up. Yeah, pretty much. I think that it's an important thing to bring up, but not now. Because it's like, saying, what about the North? It's like, that's literally like, your house on fire, and the person's like, for what you got to me for Christmas. Right. It's like, you know, who, yeah, who knows if there'll be a North by the time this is done? We don't know. Yikes. Yeah. I like that analogy. Okay. So, the final quote I have is, that's what death is, isn't it? Forgetting, being forgotten, said by Sam. Steven? Your, your, um, your choral reading was very interesting. <laughs> um, but yes, I, I, I get it. And it's, it's one of those existential things where it's like, it, it, it brings you the thought of what is the nature of, of death? Because it's like, in his mind, you, it's like how people say you can live forever, 
if people remember you, mm-hmm. right? And so, like, you have immortality of people, like, oh, they remember that you wrote that book or you sang this song or whatever. And so, like, you have people like Michael Jackson, all these people who live on ah, years after he did, with, like Whitney Houston. Uh-huh. Like, people still sing her music or listen to her stuff and, and go back and watch The Bodyguard or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. But if people forget you, that's, like, a real death. Like, not only do you stop breathing, but you cease to exist. And it's, like, it's this existential dread where it's, like, wait, there's nothing you can do to prevent that. If people forget you, they forget you. Like, you could do great things, but if people forget that you did it, or that's hidden from them, or you die before they find out that you did anything great, then it doesn't matter. I agree. I mean, you know, that that is definitely um, something that, that even applies to the way we think about the, the, the world and, and, and things during the day. Like, like you said, um, people like celebrities, people who've, who've written books and, and, and famous songs, like they do live on through their bodies of work. They do live on through the memories that people have of them. And so as long as people remember you, you essentially never die. You know, the minute you, the, the second, the last person that has a memory of you passes away, you're pretty much gone forever. The world, in, in, in the world's eyes, you, you now cease to exist. And so it's easier for people who have, who's gained that celebrity ship to kind of, because so many people in the world are aware of them and aware of the existence and aware of the works that they've done, they have um, a better chance of pretty much living forever. And, you know, that was also in reference to Bran and, and him mentioning that he was the key and he's what the Night King, Night King is after because he pretty much is the memory of the world. And so I, I, that's what really led Sam to, to say that because essentially if he destroys everything and, and gets rid of Bran, the that's memory true, yeah. of the world, you know, as, as it exists now. It never existed. Right. Like Remember my name. I'm I don't think we can write tonight. So if you could, if you could stop. Yeah. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. No. Well, anyway. Have, have left, <laughs> <ten seconds. laughs> we have to take a quick break, so we'll be back. A cruise. Matt will be hosting its annual ball. And we are going to rob it. Maybe you just need someone watching your back. Like a partner. And we're back. So now it's time for us to take a moment of silence for those that died last episode. Deathpool. Steven and Patrick, you guys basically were wrong for last episode. How unfortunate. Right. I you said Arya. And you said a non important character. Right. Mm-hmm. I thought a non important character would die. Okay, Steven, I no you didn't have to explain yourself. I just was letting you know that you were wrong. No one died. Yeah. So now going back. Patrick, who do you think will die in the third episode? I have no idea. I think a slew of people are going, going to die. I feel like if anyone, if people are going to die, or, or people will start to perish, this would be the episode mm-hmm. to, to commence. To do it? Yes. So you like, got to die now, some time. So, <laughs> um, I don't know. Probably Grey Worm. I think Definitely. He, he's, he's the best person to pick off. First one, he's least one of the least important characters. Two, he's black. Um, so, you know that's how it works. And then I feel like we, we'd be sad a little bit for homegirl when he dies. Ooh, Masande or yeah, 
Um, I definitely think that if they show her face, if they don't show her face, then I, I won't care. I think that the Mormon dude, Mormon, is gonna die. Um, defending Daenerys. I think that Thing was gonna die. Um, Brian. I think that Arya, if she doesn't die, Brian? Yeah. I think Brian is gonna die. Mm. Defending. Yeah, but defending I don't know if she'll Jimmy. die this episode. If she doesn't die, it's gonna be very close. Like she almost died. Huh. Right? Yeah. If she doesn't die, her squire dies. Oh no, not Project. Yes. Nobody. Project can't even die. Project live in the land. No, he's one of them are dead. Nah, bro. Right? You kind of voted them. Then um, Project gotta sing the song again. He gotta sing the song in the last episode. The song he sung in the room. I heard. I understand what you're talking right. about. I that's how the show get end. With okay. Project just singing like. Mm. Okay. That's you fine. mean the Tell end me. of the show? Yes, the end, the very end of the show. Project will have a a, a encore rendition of the song. Okay. Well, one of them is gonna die. <laughs> oh, that's my position on the matter. Then I'll bet money on that. Okay. Uh, how much? Oh, okay, okay. Um, I don't. People like I think that Tyrion might die because they need an important person to die who people mm-hmm. like to really like throw the whole to throw everybody for a loop. Like a curve. That's the thing. Listen, I uh, you talking about next episode? I I mean I I could agree Tyrion might die, but I don't think next episode. We're talking but, next episode. Who's well, gonna I, die next? No, episode? but that's the thing. The reason why I say Tyrion dies next episode. I don't think he dies that soon. Because I think what what ends up happening is John dies at the end. Mm-hmm. I that's how I feel. I feel like the biggest like after after you after your mind sort of thing they could do is take us all the way there and be like, okay, well at least John boom. Dead. Yeah. And Cer- Cersei just come out of nowhere and Hadouken and this nigga and he what, choked. What is dead may never die. Right. Because he dead. I, but one um, of them has, but somebody big has to go. What, what's his name? The the, the the dude with the eye patch? He's going to die. Yeah. The but he's not big enough. Dude. The fact that we don't know his name. No, I'm saying they're going to pick them off first. There's no way those dudes are going to outlive. But this could be an hour and a half. Period. It's an hour and a half. The, right? They could kill and all of them. Remember. Didn't didn't Daenerys tell Tyrion he even ain't allowed to fight? Isn't he gonna be in the crypts? Right, but everybody, I think everybody in the crypt is in danger of being killed, including Tully and a child, right? Because it's a bunch of dead people. They might, you know, they might find their way in there. Well, that's all the time we have for end of Night's Watch. So we'll meet back here next week where we get more into se- season eight, episode three. That's going to be exciting. And for all of you out there that's watching, if you don't have HBO, sign up now. Don't forget, it's only $17.99 per month. And if you sign up today, you get the third month free. Yes, I said it. Third month free. Get your subscription today. See you next week on End of Night's Watch. So y'all didn't like my little singing? No. You ready? <laughs> <laughs>